Hello, my name is Nathan Taylor, also known as Sockmetician, and welcome to this series of special video tutorials filmed to accompany my book, Guy's Knit. This is a special bonus video, which for some reason never made it into the pages of the original book, even though it was filmed at the same time as all the others. It relates to the set of instructions on page 160 and shows you how to pick up and knit. On this rather odd looking partial sock here, I've just completed the heel turn. You can see the little heel cup just there. It's a little piece of magic. I always admire it every time I finish one. And what I want to do now, in order to get back into the round, I've created all of these rows of the heel flap. I want to start picking up new stitches all the way along until we get back up to these stitches here. And to do that, I'm going to pick up the stitches into these V-shaped stitches all the way between my two fingers there, all the way up here. We don't want this needle in play at all, so we're going to be knitting stitches, but we're not actually going to be knitting them from a needle. We're going to be creating them into gaps in the fabric along the heel flap edge. In order to do that, I insert the tip of my right needle into both legs of the V, underneath both legs of the V. Can you see there's two sides of the V stitched there? It looks like a little V going that way. I wrap the yarn anti-clockwise and draw a new loop through. And that is one stitch picked up. All the way along, we've got V after V after V after V working the way down there. And I just want to go into every single gap. Now because we slipped a stitch at the beginning of each row on the heel flap, each V is the equivalent of two rows, and that's about the right proportion for wanting to pick up stitches. So each time I'm doing this, it's hard to see from that angle, each time I'm doing it, I'm going into both sides, going under both legs of that V stitch there, working the needle from the front of the work to the back of the work, wrapping the yarn around and pulling through a new stitch. I'm just going to complete a few more so you can see exactly how that works and as you can see I'm working my way up the side of the heel flap getting closer and closer to where I can join these stitches and be in the round one more time. Let me show you that once again so here are the V's of the edge stitches these are the slipped stitches along the side of the heel flap and I'm going to roll them over to the side so I can easily get at them right needle tip goes through underneath both legs, don't be tempted to just take one otherwise you'll get gaps showing in your work. Wrap the yarn anti-clockwise of course and draw it back through and then into the next one under both legs of the V, wrap the yarn, draw it back through. Let's continue on until we get to the top. When we get to the top there's something else I want to show you. The corner of the top of the heel flap is a notorious point for ending up with a hole. Because we've had these stitches been under stress here, we can often get a big hole here. And so instead of just joining into the round back again by knitting into that stitch, what we're going to do, once I've used all of the Vs along the side of the heel flap, I want to pick up one extra stitch into this area here to kind of close that gap up. And if I were just to pick up that strand and do like a make one increase, that would actually make a hole worse. Can you see how loose that's likely to be there? It's going to be a big, big hole. So what I do is either side of that running strand, there's one leg of this stitch here and one leg of this stitch here. I'm going to pick up both of those stitches, one, both of those legs I should say, one and two. Then when I've got both of those legs on the needle, I'll wrap and create a stitch out of both of them together. Let me show you that again. So we've got the running yarn that goes from this stitch over here to the stitch that's on the needle there. We want to look at the legs of the stitches either side, that one there and that one there. Then 
I can wrap around. Now this is going to be quite tricky, so this is where I do bring the second needle in play, and I go, I use that second needle to pull those loops over one, and then the second one, so one at a time, pulling over there and there. What that does is it creates a new stitch, but it pulls the two sides of the hole together. On the other side of the instep of the foot, we'll be faced with the same problem. So I'm just going to work my way over there quickly, and I'll show you what it looks like to close that gap on the other side as well. So here I am now at the other side of the instep of my sock, and I now want to start picking up stitches down the other side of the heel flap. It looks a little different here, but this is also a point where we're going to get one of those stress holes. So just as before, I want to find the running yarn between the two stitches there. You see how loose that is? That'd be useless to make a stitch out of. So I'm going to go under the leg of the stitch to the right of it, and the leg of the stitch to the left of it wrap my yarn there and then using the other needle one at a time I can go in under that first leg and pull that one over my new wrapped yarn and then go into the second one as well and pull that one over there. Again that's successfully drawn the two sides together and we won't get a hole. Then I can go into the legs of my V's as they run down the other side of the heel flap. Going under both legs together, wrap and draw a loop through, under both legs together, wrap and draw a loop through. Once I work my way to the bottom of this heel flap, I will be once again, oops, I'll be once again working in the round and able to continue with the gusset of the sock. Just a couple more to go. Every time I go through I'm going into both legs of the V of the stitch right on the edge. You might think that's it there but if you roll it over you'll see there's another V. It's always the outermost V that you're looking for. Just two more to go. One and two. Now my sock is successfully back in the round and I can continue knitting down the foot of the sock.